I'm meteorologist Ashley Beatty, and here is the latest on Hurricane Michael. Became a hurricane as of 11 o'clock this morning, and it will continue to intensify as it moves toward the north. We're expecting this to become a Category 2 storm by tomorrow morning, and prior to landfall along the Florida Panhandle, this is likely to become a major Category 3 hurricane. The areas of biggest threat are going to be up into the Panhandle, but even into the peninsula of Florida. We're looking for heavy rains on the east side of the storm, so there will be many any areas along the Florida coastline that do see between one to two, maybe as much as three feet of storm surge and up into the panhandle, that's where we start seeing those six to nine feet storm surges possible, depending on exactly where this is going to go. And this will hold together. It's going to be moving very quickly. So we anticipate tropical storm force winds even into Georgia, possibly even into the Carolinas over the next couple of days. Here's the rough timing in terms of when these tropical storm force winds could arrive. This would be the earliest time frame. Folks in the Tampa Bay area could start dealing with that as we look ahead to Tuesday and then late Tuesday, just before landfall, starting to see those winds really picking up for the panhandle Wednesday for the Georgia area and up into the Carolinas as well before eventually this moves out into the Gulf or into the Atlantic rather. We are expecting a large area where we do see tropical storm force winds, and you can see that area shrinking, but even up into the Carolinas, going to see wind impacts from this, in addition to the bigger threat, which is going to be very heavy rain. Near where this makes landfall in the panhandle, we're expecting anywhere from 6 to 8, maybe as much as 10 inches of rain. Here's the good news, though, for the Carolinas. This is going to be a pretty quick-moving storm, so it's not going to bring the rainfall totals the way we saw with Florence. However, there will be some areas where we pick up 2, 3, maybe as much as four inches of rain before the storm moves back out into the Atlantic.